Okay, in this video, I just want to show you how to do a project-wide find and replace in NeoVim. Now, I'm going to do this once at a normal kind of speed as I would do it in day-to-day -day, uh, work. And then we're going to go step by step just so that we understand the different steps. And this is because in NeoVim, things are done a little bit differently. Um, it's not like a conventional editor like VS Code or Sublime Text or even Zed, where you get a nice bit of UI, you search for the string, you do the replace, and it's all pretty straightforward. That's the environment I come from historically, and it's a little bit different in NeoVim. So I'll show you what I'd do normally. So I'd use Telescope, and I would search for the string that I'm after. So let's suppose I'm after get header. So I've got my list of, of all my um, strings here across all the different files, and I'm going to send them into the quick fix list here. So here they are down in this bottom tray, and you can see the, all the different instances of that string. I'm then going to run CFDO, and I'm going to do percentage sign to do across everything. I'm going to do a get header, and I'm going to change that to, let's do something silly so we can easily put it back again. We'll do get um, sausages. And I am then going to do that globally, so that operates on each instance on the line. I'm going to pipe that into update, and I'm going to pipe that into buffer delete. Okay, so that would be the command that I would run. That executes the command, makes all the changes. If I just do a buffer delete there and I do a search now for get header, that's been changed and you can see that what we have left is get sausages and they've been changed in all those different instances. That was the sort of normal speed way of doing it, but what is actually going on here? So let's back up, okay? The first thing we need to do in NeoVim land is to go and find those files and you could use a command like grep and add the arguments like that. I tend to not do that because I'm just not used to that. I use telescope because I find it more just easier to reason about. It's doing the same thing under the hood, um, but I just find it easier to reason with. So I use my command to do the grep and you can see there the title of that uh, telescope window is live grep. I search for the, the string that I'm looking for. Okay, this gets me a list of all the, the things, you know, the instances of that that are found. Telescope also has a feature built in which lets you send things from the telescope window to the quick fix in NeoVim. NeoVim has um, something called the quick fix list and it also has a location list. A location list just works on uh, locations inside a single file. The quick fix list can work across multiple files. Now, the quick fix list gets its name because often it's used for debugging things. You know, you send bugs into one place and then you would amend them there. We're using the quick fix list just as a way to get references to files and locations in those files so that we can then do something um, with those locations. So the quick fix list is where we're gonna send this. Now, the key I've got it set to is control Q. That might be the default, I can't remember. So control Q and you can see I've got this tray now at the bottom which is the quick fix list, and you can see that um, just down here. And those are all the, the locations, so you can just about see it's very faint in here, but it gives me the column and the row number of where that instance is. So we've got the things in our quick fix list, and then what we want to do is iterate over these things. And the way to do that in uh, Vim is to use, there's two commands you can use. You can use uh, CDO, which is change do, or you can use CF do, which is change file do. I tend to favour the latter change file do because what would CDO would do, the first one, is every time it comes to an instance of that, it would open the file, make the change, and then close it down. If there was another instance of that same string in the same file, it would then still have to open that file back up again, make the second change, put the file back down. What CFDO does is it picks the files up one at a time, makes all the changes in that one file in one go, then puts that file away. So I tend to always use CFDO rather than CDO for that reason. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm opening the command. I'm saying change file do. And then I'm gonna use um, the percentage sign to say, have a look at everything in that file. Um, I'm gonna do a search. And just like you would in a normal buffer, we're using the same S slash. I'm gonna do my first instance here, which is get sausages. And I'm gonna replace that back and put that back to get header. Okay, that bit, pretty straightforward. So CFDO, change file do, um, then your normal kind of string parameter that you would do. I'm gonna put a G on the end of there in case there was an instance where get sausages was twice on the same line. If I don't do that, it will just do the first one. 
Uh, I don't want to confirm, so I'm not putting a C on there. That would make me have to confirm each change. I don't want to do that. Um, and then what I'm doing is I'm piping that into update. And what update does is just save those buffers off. Otherwise, it'll make all these changes and then leave all those files in an unsafe state, which if you're doing a big find and replace, that could be quite tedious. And then finally, just as a little clear up, I'm doing buffer delete. So it's not only going to open the file, make the change and save the file, it's then also going to close that buffer back down for me because there's a good chance I'm just not interested in doing anything more with those files. This is just something I wanted to operate on through the project. So CFDO, change file do, the change that you want to make, pipe it into update to save the change and then pipe it into buffer delete to just delete those buffers down. That makes the changes for me. I can delete that quick face list now and I can go and do another live grep and we'll go and see what we've got here. Have we got any gut sausages? No. Have we got get header? Yes. And that's all the, the things changed back again. So yeah, to conclude, I don't think this is as easy as in a modern text editor, but there is a quite efficient way of doing it in NeoVim. It just takes a little bit of getting your head around. Hope that was useful. Do all the usual stuff, like, subscribe, tell your nan, etc. See you in the next one.